that is that is comfy. Picked this up on Amazon. Chairs finally came in. There were two factors I was looking for when I was looking for chairs. It was one mid-century style and two comfortable. Also three uh, brown brown leather. Well, this is fake leather, but um, you know it's that the texture, the look. Um, obviously, I was also trying. I guess there's a lot of factors. I guess I was trying to go for wood, mid-century, brown, probably fake leather, and then um, comfort. And to my surprise, uh, I mean, out of all the chairs I've seen within my budget, this chair was probably the one that looked the most comfortable because we're going to be spending a lot of time on this chair for the podcast, for everything else we shoot as well as, you know, just leisurely drinking coffee here throughout the day and talking and our guests and stuff. So we want a chair that's comfortable. Not we want. I was looking for a chair that not only looks good, but also it's comfortable. And I love that there are armrests, that we could use it. Um, oh, and another thing I really love is that it comes off both of these cushions. So, I mean, if I wanted to clean it, I can, or if I wanted to replace it over time, um, I saw on Etsy that there are suppliers that make cushions, um, and that's really great because if this gets old or it gets ripped up or whatever, I could always switch it out, get a different color, new material, but I can get cushions made, and I don't have to compromise this chair because some of the chairs I saw was that the arms um, connected to the base, and that was kind of it. Like, it was one piece, the arms just connect to that. There wasn't really a way to replace the cushions without replacing the whole chair because the entire bottom cushion was the bottom seat connecting to the arms. So um, I was worried about that, and I couldn't tell from the photos if this was that, but that's what I didn't want, but I decided, I'm like, this is within my budget. I wish it had removable cushions, but you know, I'll just try to keep it clean. And then when I got it and I was putting it together, removable cushions. So that was a huge win for me. Um, but this is the next step in this room. It's looking more, much better. Um, we ordered our wall trim, which is going to go here and there. And that's coming in maybe within a week, two weeks. And that one's actually coming from Turkey. And I found that on Etsy. So. Um, I'll throw it up on here, but like we had to get the both walls measured and then like all the outlets, the AC panel, the light switch, like all of that measured on the wall. That way we could um, determine how big of a trim we're looking for and like where it's going to cut off because we don't want the trim to come and then like there's an outlet in the middle so we'd have to have two pieces and then an outlet. So. Um, we were able to get it to where it's right above the outlet, but we'll see. We'll see. Two years, within two years, he lose, but he got it at 28, but he still gave me a price, so I got Baby Shark. My kid.
we have made some progress on the foyer and that includes the trim on the wall. Finally came in from Turkey, got it up, it took me I don't know, six to six about eight hours yesterday. No, about six. Six hours. I was making sure everything was leveled and I initially put it up with just blue tape to make sure it fits the walls and it's in position. And then from there I took off the adhesive on the back and put it on. And um, the thing is that it's a little bit different in color. You might be able to see it here. Um, because the trim is white, but our wall is like a little bit off-white. And uh, Devin and I were talking about it, trying to decide if we were just going to paint it all. We're still deciding. Um, we'll see. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't stand out too much. But, you know, we want everything to look you know, good. And we're still deciding on that. But it definitely, the trim on the wall, really elevates the room. Um, right now, we're waiting on another piece to come in right here, but for now, the buffet, ca the buffet cabinet fits nicely in there. So it's here for now, and yeah, then eventually on to maybe throw up some sconces, uh, but that's another problem that we need to figure out because I don't want to have hard wire and come down the walls. So we're working on that, but that's kind of like we're prioritizing like what's most important right now. So our next one is the next piece coming in here and pick this up on eBay. So this is a statue of Asclepius. I think I said it wrong, but he's the god of healing. And I found this, I've always wanted a Greek statue head or a Greek little statue. And I've always seen a lot of them with David, but um, I was just kind of surfing around, looking for it, checked out a ton of antique shops, never really found one or found one that I wanted. And um, I didn't want something new because they make a ton of Greek statue heads brand new, but I wanted something with character and something with history. And I found this one on eBay for $40. And it's really heavy actually. Um, I am not familiar with the God of Healing, but you know that's something I could look into. Um, it comes with the original papers when this first uh, statue was made, and I got it from. It's it's saying it's from like I think Alba Fifty Nine. That might be the studio that made it, or I can't. I don't know if it was made in Fifty Nine, but. Um, yeah, like there isn't much information on this and I messaged the seller and they never got back to me so it is what it is but you could definitely see all the the you could definitely see the wear and tear on the statue and you know paints chipped here and there uh, obviously the paper's super old and oh there we go so they carved it in it's called 59 alba so they left their mark right there. And I found another statue of this same, this exact same one, but uh, they probably made, so they probably, they made more than one of these, but um, all of them, the other one I saw the engraving was not on the neck right here. So it's, I guess it's kind of unique because these pieces, there's a, one, there's a limited amount of pieces out there, I would assume, and they're all. Yeah, really cool. Um, I think I might put this up here, still trying to decide, but another piece.